Hey guys, welcome back to Brilliance's Math Club. Today's topic is simplifying fractions. Now this is pretty much like a follow-up video for the video that I did on equivalent fractions because in that I talked a little bit about simplifying fractions as well. So if you've seen that video, then this is a pretty good review for you. But if you haven't, then that's okay because I'm going to go over everything that I've talked about in equivalent fractions. And I just want to say that equivalent fractions and simplifying fractions are pretty much the same thing except for in simplifying fractions you have to find the lowest term of the fraction. So if you have for example, let's go with an easy example for now, maybe we have 6 over 36. To simplify this fraction what you will do is you have to come up with a number that you can divide both of these numbers by to get an equivalent fraction. So this is really simple so we know okay if we divide 6 by 6 and 36 by 6 we will get 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 36 divided by 6 is 6. That means 1 6 is the simplified terms for 6 over 36. So that was really easy, right? How about if we had a larger number, like maybe 36 over 142? Okay, that's a pretty good number, right? That's a very big number also. So don't get yourself confused with like the value of the number because it's always going to end up to a smaller number. Now, if you look at this, you can't directly come up with a number that you can divide this by. So, always, if you can't come up with it, then go with a smaller number, like maybe let's say 2. So, if we do 36 divided by 2 and 142 divided by 2, come over here, 36 divided by 2, 2 times 1 is 2, get 1, bring down the 6, and 2 goes to 16 8 times. So, our quotient is 18. So that's our numerator. Our denominator will be, oops, sorry, 142 and divided by 2. So 2 goes into 14 7 times. Bring down the 2. 2 goes into 2 1 time. So our quotient is 71. So that means the simplified terms for 36 over 142 equal. 18 over 71. So that's all I have for this topic today. Now if you want to find more practice problems to do, like you can always go to our website. And we're going to be making more videos and remember simplifying fractions is sort of like a key term for adding and subtracting and also multiplying and dividing fractions. So we want you to stick with us and keep on learning and we will see you guys next time.